Hey guys, Dave Compton here. Welcome back to the library. Today I want to talk to you about the FEMA 50% rule as it applies to flood provisions. Uh, the two definitions we look, need to look at within the building code are for substantial damage and substantial improvement. And let's see what the code has to say for itself. In the 2010 uh, Florida Existing Building Code, uh, Chapter 2 under definitions, for substantial damage, the code states a damage of any origin sustained by a structure whereby the cost of restoring the structure to its before damaged condition would equal or exceed 50% of the market value of the structure before the damage occurred. If we look at a substantial improvement, which is closely tied to substantial damage, the code states any repair, reconstruction, rehabilitation, addition or improvement of a building or structure, the cost of which exceed, equals or exceeds 50% of the market value of the structure before the improvement or repair is started. If the structure has sustained substantial damage, any repairs are considered substantial improvement regardless of the actual repair work performed. What does this mean in English? If we look at a structure uh, that's on the market for $300,000, and if we break down that value a little bit, let's say the land that the structure sits on is worth $200,000, and the structure itself is worth $100,000. Under the FEMA 50% rule, we would be allowed uh, for repairs or remodeling, um, that type of thing, up to $50,000 or 50% of the market value of the structure. So as we start to look into repair work, uh, restoration, uh, remodeling, that type of thing, the first thing that we do is look at to see if the structure is within a flood zone. If it's within the flood zone, we look to see if it is code compliant. And what does code compliant mean? Basically, we look at the base flood elevation and see if the finished floor elevation is above or below that. If the finished floor elevation is above the base flood elevation, then it would be considered a code compliant structure and therefore we could do whatever repairs, remodeling, restoration work we need to do. If the finished floor elevation was below the base flood elevation, then it's not a code compliant structure. And if the repairs, the remodel uh, work were to exceed 50% of the market value of the structure, we would have to do code upgrades to bring the structure up to the current uh, flood regulations. So in this case, we would have to raise uh, the structure to get the finished floor elevation above the base flood elevation. If you have any questions on this subject, uh, drop me an email at dcompton at brackenengineering.com. Thank you.